raining outside here in Los Angeles for the first time in like forever. So I am feeling very cozy indeed with a sweater and all my Christmas decorations and some tea and some fire on the TV in front of a fireplace. So today I thought that we would do a little bit of crafting. My craft room is kind of a huge disaster right now because all the decorations that were in here I just kind of threw in there so I could put up the Christmas stuff. So you guys do not want to see that, but I brought some of my craft supplies out here and we are going to make some ornaments. When I was brainstorming this video, I just had so many different ideas that I wanted to show you guys. So we're going to be making six different types of ornaments today. By the time we're done, you're going to have enough to trim your entire tree. Well, if you make a bunch of each one, or if you have a very small tree. All right, are you guys ready to get started? Let's get started. So in this video, we're going to be decorating an ampersand, two pine cones, as well as three of these clear glass ornaments. So for the first ornament, we're going to decorate this ampersand, which is just a small wooden ampersand I got at the craft store, but you could get them for any letter of the alphabet. I actually really like how it looks on the tree just being white, so we're not going to do anything too crazy with it. But the first step is to cover it with this striped metallic washi tape, and the biggest tip here is to just make sure that your pattern lines up all the way across your letter, because that will just make it look a lot cleaner. Once that's completely on there, press down the tape to get it to really stick, and then use an X-Acto knife to cut off all of the excess tape. Now it's time to add some ampersand bling. Just like we did in my DIY coffin jewelry box, just brush on a layer of glue and then start pressing on some small rhinestones all the way around your letter. Once you've gone all the way around, your ornament is finished. Just attach a ribbon through the top hole, and you can hang your totally blinged out ornament on your tree or just display it around your room all year long. So now it's time for a bit of pine cone fun. This ombre pine cone is so easy and all you need is two colors of acrylic paint and a brush. Mix up your paint so you have a gradient of colors and then begin painting it onto the tips of the pine cone, starting from your lightest color up top. The hardest part of this project is really just mixing a smooth gradient of colors because the painting of the pine cone literally only takes a few minutes. Set that aside to dry and then tie some string on to it to hang it up. Or if you don't want to hang them, you could always just make a bunch of these and then put them into a large clear vase to turn into a fun centerpiece. But now, if you want to get a little more sparkly, this gold pine cone is also really easy. Just take your pine cone outside and spray paint the top with gold paint so that the bottom is still brown, but the top looks all fancy. Then dab a bit of glue onto the ends of the pine cone and channel your inner Louise to put a sprinkle of glitter on it. Just make sure to put down some scrap paper so you can reuse the excess glitter later. And now you have this fancy looking pine cone that literally only took a few minutes to make. it's time to move on to these clear round ornaments. There are so many tutorials on Pinterest on how to decorate them, but for my first one we're going to get a little frozen. Grab some white sprinkles or some table salt and make a funnel out of paper to fill up the ornament about a quarter of the way. Then cut some branch-like shapes out of felt and also gather two googly eyes, three black buttons, and something orange and triangle shaped to be the nose. Drop them into the ornament and use the back of a paintbrush to nudge them around until you're happy with the placement. Then on a sheet of scrapbook paper, write, some people are worth melting for. Cut that out into a tag shape, punch a hole in it, and tie it onto the ornament. And now you have a slightly morbid, but really heartfelt, Frozen-inspired ornament. But if you want to make one that has a few less steps, grab another piece of those old fishnet stockings that we used for my spray painted pumpkin video and wrap it around an ornament. You could also do this with lace, but the fishnets are stretchier so you won't end up with any fold marks. Then just take it outside and spray paint it, and after it's dry, take off the stockings and you'll have this really cool mermaid looking design on the outside. 
And finally, it's time to attack this monster of an ornament. For this one, I'm going to be doing a large polka dot design. The trick to this design is painter's tape and a large hole punch. Rip off a piece of tape and then punch a hole in the middle, and now you have this pattern for some spray painted polka dots. Keep doing this until you've covered the entire ornament, and then take it outside to spray paint it. If you don't have spray paint, you could also paint it with acrylic paint or cover the dots with glue and then shake on some glitter. But I think spray painting is the fastest, and when you take off all the tape, you have this really cute polka dot design that looks like you bought it from a store, but you made it yourself. So I hope you guys liked those DIY ornament ideas. Let me know in a comment down below. Are you making any DIY ornaments this year, or which one of those ideas was your favorite? I'm gonna go admire my tree with all of my new ornaments, drink my tea, curl up under a blanket, maybe watch some Netflix, and pretend that all of that rain out there is actually snow. So if you want to see another Christmas DIY ornament video, I just made a DIY paint pot ornament for any artistic friends that you might have. It's super cute. You can watch it right here. Or if you want to learn how I decorated this entire place and get a whole bunch of ideas for really small, really easy DIY projects, you can watch that video right here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, think of it as a Christmas present for me, and I will see you all next time. Bye everyone!